everyone welcome back again to my channel please if you have not subscribed before please subscribe and share my videos in this video I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a beautiful sleeve with this combination I think I made a video how to cut your sleeve please check on my videos you see the pattern I dropped how to cut your sleeve that's what I used here as well so yeah, I've already bring out my sewing allowance for the sleeve, my sewing allowance, and this is my sewing allowance. So I'm just going to gather these ones to make a beautiful sleeve. So this is the back of the material, and this is the back of the material for the sleeve, this is the front. So let's get down to it. I've already cut out these ones, so I will start from here. From this part, yeah, I'm going to be yeah, it's going to be my sewing allowance. So I'll take it up like this. Then, like this one. So I'm going to start from this tip. Now take the second one. Now add to it like this. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pin this side. Let me start from here so you can see it properly. It's one inch. So, I'm going to start from here now, from this place. So, I'm going to pin this like this. So, you can see, make sure both of them is all equal like this with the edge of the sleeve. And when you are doing your folding, please ensure that this one doesn't fold. This one has to be made straight, but this one has to be plated. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'll plate both sides like this, just this one, plate it like this. I'll plate it again. Then I use my pin to secure the plates to the sleeve. So now I'll take it again like this. I plate. So I'm plating, I'm ensuring this all the space at the tip are going together. I plate. So I'm just gonna apply this method all through. If you notice, you see, this is straight. This is not plated, but this one is plated. So I'm going to do the same method from there to this tip. You will see it when I finish. I finished pinning it up. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and stitch from here like this, straight down to this tip. So when I finish stitching, I will now close it up like this. This up like this. I'm going to stitch from here to that place. So, you see how beautiful it is, the design which I just did. So, let me go to the sewing machine and go and stitch it. Then I'll bring it back for you to have a look what I did. Finish sewing the the flare at the back here. So, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to. At the middle here of the ham hole, there's a notch to show that this is the middle. So I'm going to turn it like this. Making sure that the middle, the middle is here. Turn it like this. Then I make sure yeah also is equal. Yeah, also is equal at the tip of the edge. Then I will sew it from here straight down, down straight. Just follow the shape like an A line shape straight down this way. Guys, this is the end product of the slip I just made. This is the 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 plated satin, and this is the gather flare which I did. Actually, I'm using this for a project. I'm going to attach to my one shoulder sleeve I made for myself. So, 
you can see how nice and beautiful it is so i'm going to attach my uh to my, to my dress so please if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe share my video and i'll see you on my next tutorial bye for now